So you want to learn how to play a song. So you get on the internet and you start looking for available tablature for the song. And you start working through it. And as you're playing through some of the notes or the chords, you start to question if it's accurate or not. So what do, you, what do we do in those situations? Today I'm going to show you all the available options we have as guitar players to make sure we're learning the song correctly. First thing we got to keep in mind is that not all tabs are created equal. Between websites like songster.com or ultimateguitar.com and some of the other ones out there, there are generally multiple versions of the same song, even on the same website. So you kind of have to go through and find what you think is going to be the best version of that song. Another thing to keep in mind is that on websites like songster.com that the tabs can be revised. So you want to make sure you're looking for the latest revision. And even when you find that a song has been revised, you still want to verify it. While the notes might be correct on a tab, a lot of times the fingerings are not exactly the same fingerings that the guitarist used on the recording. Meaning that when whoever transcribes and publishes the tablature, they were not consulting the actual guitar player to find out exactly where the fingerings are on the fingerboard. And unless you watch video clips of the artists actually playing those parts to get an idea of where on the fingerboard they're playing it, a lot of times the, the transcription is just following the path of least resistance, meaning just the easiest place to find those notes on the fingerboard. Now, whether you're using websites like Ultimate Guitar or Songster.com, things like that, there are other options too you may want to look into, whether it be songbooks from the band or the artist, uh, publications such as the guitar magazines that we have available, either the, the latest issues or even going back and finding vintage issues, which generally had transcriptions of songs in them. There have been plenty of times when I have seen serious discrepancies between not only the notes, but sometimes the fingerings, and then even the rhythms as well that might be notated on some of the tabs. So the best bet is generally to use your ears. This is where knowing some music theory really comes in handy, as well as knowing your fingerboard completely cold, meaning that you know all your notes on the fingerboard, you've got it completely memorized, you have a basic understanding of scale and chord theory and things like that, as well as rhythm theory, being able to interpret basic rhythm figures. Another tool that I will use when I don't think the tabs are correct, or even if it's just a portion of the tablature, is I will pull up a piece of software called Transcribe. Now Transcribe, you can bring an MP3 into it and you can loop as much of the song off as you want and you can adjust the speed. So I'll give you a demonstration real quick. So this is full speed, but I could slow it down without changing the pitch. So by doing that, I can really hear certain elements of the solo, the song, the riff, or whatever, and then try to replicate those. I've put a link down in the description for that transcribe software. I've used it for many years and really thoroughly enjoy it. Another cool thing you can do is try to find live footage on YouTube of the guitar player playing the part you're trying to learn. Um, I know on early stuff, like maybe from the 60s or 70s, it's, it's kind of hard to find stuff. And I know there's been times on like, say, trying to work on an Eric Clapton solo, and I'm trying to find exactly where he played that on the fingerboard. I notice sometimes the camera is not on his hands, but rather on his face or it's on the drummer or something like that, which is kind of silly. But for later material, especially from the 80s on, Generally, you can find some pretty good live footage from a concert that shows maybe just a second or two of where, what position on their fingerboard they're playing that from. If you've learned a riff or a lick in one position, but you notice that the guitar player in the live clip is showing it, or he's playing somewhere else, then you know you got to readjust your fingering if you're trying to be accurate. Sometimes, though, I get it that 
the way the guitar player actually played it may not be easy for us with our fingering choices to replicate. So at the end of the day, it's really just kind of like, what level of authenticity are you trying to get out of the song? Hey, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for me. And also drop me a comment down below and let me know how you deal with wrong tabs when you encounter them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Keep rocking on.